Hey folks, welcome to another how to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to solve definite integrals on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so to solve this kind of equation in this calculator, what you want to do is you want to switch on the calculator, go into main menu, go into the run mode. And from here, what we need to do is click on option and find the mode that says calc, which is F4 click on F4 and then you should see the integral sign which is also under F4. So once we click on that we're going to get three of these boxes. So these two numbers here are going to be the upper and lower bound and then you've got to write the function inside the middle box there. Now for the X that you want to be using don't try to use alpha X always use the X which is underneath the alpha button. So we're going to go X squared plus 2 root X. So this is the function and it's not actually integrated yet. So we actually put the original function. Then we use the cursor to get into those two boxes. So our lower bound is zero and then our upper one is four. Once you put in your upper limit there, which is four, just click on EXE and it should give you an answer of 32. Now for question two, the upper bound is actually pi. So you want to make sure that your calculator is actually in radians. So before doing this equation, we go into shift setup and as you can see the angle is in degrees now I'm going to show you the incorrect what happens if it is in degrees so once again we're going to go into option calc which is f4 integral and we're going to put in this equation which is sine x zero and of course we're going to put pi as our upper limit there once we press equals we're actually going to get 0 0.086 now this is the incorrect answer because the calculator is actually in degrees mode. So we want to go back to setup, change this from degrees to radians. And once we do that, and if we redo this question, what you'll notice is you actually get the right answer, which is equal to two. So one thing to remember about uh, doing definite integrals on this calculator is that particularly when you're working with any trig graphs, you want to make sure that the calculator mode is in radians and not in degrees. And the second thing is also that some people integrate the function and then put the integrated function inside the calculator. And you don't need to do that. You can actually put the original function and the original limits and you should be good to go. And that folks is how you calculate definite integrals on this particular Casio graphics calculator.